The color on color preset creates a pulse of one color passing over another color. The first option you have for configuring this are those two colors. To set the base color, simply click on the icon. You can then select a color or use one of your recently or previously saved colors. The same holds true for the top color. You also have the option to have either the base or top be transparent. This is useful if you'd like to add a streak of color on top of another effect. To set the base to be transparent, click on the dropdown and change base. Notice now we have a transparent color for our base, but our top still pushes on top. If we want to change this back to opaque, simply go to the dropdown and select opaque. Loop controls our time. We have two options for defining how fast an effect will run. Period allows us to set how long it takes for an effect to fully run through once. In this example, it's set to one second, which means the effect will complete in one second and continue looping. If we change this to count, we have the ability to say how many full iterations of the effect we want. Notice as we're changing these that the actual effect changes to represent what it's going to look like. If I up my count, notice more iterations of the effect are displayed within the effect. Phase allows me the offset of the pulse in degrees, allowing me to choose where my starting point is. Notice as I change this that it offsets ever so slightly. I then have the ability to set my repeat and buddy effects as usual, and then to change the shape of the effect. So if I set this back to repeat all and buddy of one, I can have a sign, a square, a triangle, a ramp up, or a ramp down. Notice in the sign, I have a gradient that is transferring across. If I change this to square, I have a sharp transition of my effect changing. I then have the ability to change the pulse width. By default, this is 100, meaning that both pulses are evenly the same size. If I set this to something like 50, you'll notice that my top color is now smaller. If I go to something like 200, you'll notice that my top color is now massively bigger. In fact, we're only seeing a little bit of the base. Setting it back to 100 evens it out. I then have the ability to reverse direction of the effect and to invert the base and top colors.